guys! So, I started early this morning. I'm going to try to go take the bus to go to the other side of the island. So, basically, that's going to be my first time taking the bus, and I think I nailed it. Like, I know where to take it, where to stop, and where to take the second one. And normally, uh, I should be able to come back to you. So, yeah, that's how it goes uh, for today. So I asked Iki because tomorrow afternoon Iki is free. So I asked him if he wanted to go with me and he didn't really say anything. So we might go somewhere else tomorrow or we might just stay at the beach and swim. So yeah, I'm going on my own and like it's like Roy, it's what Roy told me to do, like one of the things he told me to do in Hawaii. So that's like the first one on the list. So yeah, I'm gonna show that to you. Uh, we'll see how it goes. So it was a bit troublesome to get to the bus stop, but then after that it was fine. So this is Kilua with like almost nothing there except the bus stop. So the bus stop is there and like we're basically waiting the bus 70 and yeah, I'm talking with people there. I'm meeting people all the time here. Like if I go out in Japan, I never meet anyone, but here people are talking to me and stuff. So it's pretty cool. So yeah. So this is like uh, Kilua, Kailua, and the thing is, there was supposed to be something to see at Kailua. Like Roy said, there is something Ka Kailua Beach Park, but I don't know uh, where that is from here. So, and we have like 40 minutes before the next bus. So I don't know if I can go anywhere, basically. So maybe on the way back, if I'm not too tired, I will just stop here again and try to find a beach park. But uh, yeah, I'm looking around, trying to figure out, but that, yeah, basically, I don't know. Here you can have a look. Uh, palm trees, tree, the cafe over here, and on the other side,
This is Lanikai Beach. We just arrived. It looks so cool and beautiful and less crowded than Waikiki. So that's probably a lot better. Look at the water, it's just so blue. And I just I didn't bring a swimming suit. I was like, oh should I bring a swimming suit? And I was like, nah. And now I'm so regretting it. Worst decision ever. Oh crap. Really? So yeah. Some more islands over there. was a little bit crazy and after testing the water at Lanikai I decided to go around to Kai, Kailua Beach Park so that's the beach park the beach is over there it's also pretty nice I think I like Lanikai more so I'm gonna go back to Lanikai now so yes I was told to do like both like at least one of them and because they are so close by together it's like 300 meter. I thought it was more but it's like 300 meter to go from the one to the other so it's pretty cool and it's really nice here like you have the park and the beach all at once so I don't know it's a little bit here you can see it's some grass so yeah uh, I kind of like it it's pretty exotic <laughs> I don't know it's really nice I kind of enjoy the walking like I could just stay at the beach but I don't have my swimming suit with me but I could still stay like at the beach sit on the sand and relax but I kind of I'm a walking person so I like to walk a lot and for me like just walking like down and I'm gonna go back up it's like nothing so yeah and I got my Fitbit to calculate my steps. So I'm not yet at 10,000. See how close it is. So just a walk from the hotel to the... Actually the walk from the hotel to take the bus to the bus stop seems a lot longer. So yeah. Anyway, so I'm just gonna go back to uh, Lanikai and then I'll show that to you and take some doll pictures, hopefully. So I made it completely all the way to the end of the Lanikai beach. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna show that to you. Here is the end of the beach and it goes all the way over there you can see it turns 
And there's a little bit more sand there. Over there. So yeah, I walked all the way. And Excuse me guys, like tomorrow I'm going in the water, like leg injury or not. I'm just going in. I'll clean it up afterward, but no way, like it's a water. I just put my feet on it, so. Well, you can see my feet. And the water is coming up to almost here. Yep, yep. Coming, wait a minute. <laughs> Water is sort of coming into here. I got my trousers wet actually, but like it's just so warm. So tomorrow I'm definitely going in the water. That's gonna be the plan for tomorrow, wherever. But I'm going in the water. Probably Iki is going to want to stay like at like Wakaibi, Waikiki Beach because it's closer and. It, the thing is, it doesn't take too long to come here, but it's a little bit troublesome because we have like one hour wait uh, in between, so it just, yeah, a little bit of a trouble. See, the water is back now. Oh god. or anyway so yeah it's so blue and pretty and you can see the different blue color of the sky and the ocean is more like dark blue and green and like you can like the water is so transparent you can see the sand through it it's just so cool like and the number of alga is like minimum so it's just so cool. I'm on the boat of the Romy. See like the difference between the sky and the sea. It's a bit cloudy and here you got like other islands. Small one I guess. Which is pretty cool. And over there too. See that bigger one.
me going back to the hotel. It was a long day. I'm kind of tired now. Oh my god, I just walked so much. I spent like, except for the time I was in the bus, which was probably like one hour and a half. So I probably walk eight hours today, non-stop, like almost non-stop. Like a lot, a lot more than yesterday. <sighs> so yeah. I'm almost back at the hotel, so I'm gonna just wait for Iki there, unless he's already there. Uh, maybe I'll take a nap. If he's not here, I'll take a nap. If he's here, I'll just kidnap him for dinner. Sounds like a plan. Anyway, yeah, it was a nice day. And I think my face is even more red than before. I just keep on putting cream and cream and I just become tomato. I don't know how people get brown, like, I just tomato every time. So yeah, not so pretty, my coloring at the moment. I look kind of, it's not painful anywhere, and except maybe my uncle, I realized that my jeans don't cover my uncle, and so I didn't put cream for a while, so now I put it, but it's turn a little bit red before I realized so yeah not a good idea but the rest is okay it's red but it's not painful so I'm gonna be fine do not worry guys I'm gonna be fine so guys it's dinner time and we are in that um, sort of shopping mall that has like a lot of like store different store on upstairs side is the like food area so you can get like things from different stores and basically you need to have a table and get that food so it's very very crowded there is no um, table anymore inside but we managed to find this table here in a very dark and small corner with nobody around as you can see I'm just like alone it's like the only table around here like the other table are like way far behind so um, uh, just sitting here to keep the table because just in case anyone want to have the table and Iki is going to get food so I'm getting a burger and he's getting some steak so yeah that's the whole plan so uh, yeah so it, it's pretty nice I'm gonna show you downstairs because they have all those palm trees and they have like like the fire on the lamps at the moment and they have some water sort of river at the bottom so let me show you that so there is a palm tree and you can see the, the fire there and the palm trees are really really high and yeah like the fire there and the river at the bottom it's kind of dark on the camera so i don't know if you can see it very well but that's basically like i think i went through uh, the other day, I probably didn't show you, but see you have like this uh, little road with like, tires there. So I went there during daytime, it's already my second video or something. So yeah, that's really nice. I really want to take doll pictures there, but it's always crowded, so it's just, you know, a little bit of So yeah, today was a really long day, like I finished the beach and I had like a kind of an adventure to catch the bus because I met the bus and I had to run to get to the bus and some Japanese mom was like waving at me to arrive like because the bus was kind of waiting for me and then I didn't have a fare like the change you need to give 250 exactly and I couldn't manage that so I had only like I had three dollars and I just, uh, I just stay there, ha hoping that some I would manage to stop someone because before they put the coin in the machine, so that we could like kind of they give me the coin and we I pay three dollars, so that I, we cover both of us like in one payment. But I never managed like I just ask people and like it nev I never managed to just ask them before they put the coin. So the bus driver, he probably got tired of it, so he just like said, okay, just give me two dollars. Do you need a transfer? I said yes. So I got my ticket, two dollars, and my transfer. And the thing is, like, I, I met some people on, on the way in, 
and I kind of loved them at the beach like they wanted to just sit and go to the beach and like swim and stuff and the problem is like I didn't have my swimming suit as you know so I just walk away and I didn't meet them afterward like when I came back they were gone so I didn't know where they are so I just uh, decided to go back home by myself and they were in that bus so I met them again in the bus and we chatted again and it's too bad like they're leaving tomorrow so we couldn't plan anything because they're just leaving tomorrow. So yeah, uh, I came back to the hotel and Iki was already sleeping <laughs> as usual and so I decided to sleep with him and then I had and again today trouble to wake him up but not as much as yesterday so. Yeah, that's pretty nice. So now he's gonna just come back with the food. Like we're ordering from two different places, so I don't know how he's gonna manage that. But um, yeah, I'm just waiting here, keeping up the table. Yeah. Also, I wanted to tell you, like, I wanted to take doll pictures at the beach, and um, I just couldn't. Like, I have some of Ivory Chan because she's easy, but like, it was so crowded. Like, like the the mother and daughter that I met in the like in the bus basically. They were telling me that they were going to Lanikai because it's supposed to be less crowded than Waikiki because Waik they got tired of Waikiki like they couldn't just stay there and like they tried to just sleep like sleep on the beach there and go swimming there and stuff and they say they got tired of it because it's just so crowded like people are just like really next to each other so they got annoyed with all the noise and stuff so they wanted to go to Lanikai because it's not as crowded and when we arrived there, it's true, it wasn't as crowded, but after that, like after a few hours, it was like full of people everywhere. And I'm like, no, like impossible. Like, I mean, I could take the doll out of my bag and stuff, but I don't really feel comfortable always taking picture in front of people. And I was afraid because some people play with a ball and stuff. So I don't want my doll to be knocked over. And the beach are really narrow. So like I was walking all the way and like at some point when the water comes it just come all over you and you have like so my trousers was up to my knee and it was like the water come and with my trousers too so I was like no way so yeah so I didn't take any like doll picture at the beach I just took a few of Ibari Chan on the way back and that's basically it so yeah, that's how it happened and yeah, that's, that's my life for today guys. Uh, I hope you enjoy this new kind of video, like I cannot make doll picture, doll uh, videos at the moment obviously because I don't have like a new doll to open for your stuff. So I hope you enjoy. I'm gonna have like, with the picture I took, I'm gonna have like a summary of doll in Hawaii, so all the picture I took of them. There's gonna be some beach picture because like tomorrow Iki is coming with me so if he's around to kind of you know like while I concentrate on taking the picture he can just sur like survey the area to make sure nothing is gonna knock me over or anything so that's gonna be a bit easier but yeah that's, that's the plan so tomorrow I'm probably not going to do anything maybe tomorrow morning I'm gonna go shopping I saw some like you know like when you arrive in Hawaii, my image was that there's gonna be someone at the hotel putting that flower around you, right? Well, no, it didn't happen. But like I saw some in the um, in the store, and like they have like small version. So I want to buy like small versions that you actually use like a a coron of flower that you put in your hair, like hair accessory. So I kind of want to buy one for Hibari Chan so I can put her on her neck so she's gonna be like buffalo in Hawaii style. So that's the plan for tomorrow. Hopefully I can do that in the morning until it is done at the conference and then we're gonna just go swimming and it's gonna be awesome. Yeah. So yeah, I'm telling you my plan, I'm telling you my life. I'm just waiting for my hamburger to arrive. Uh, it's a it's a really nice night. Hopefully, it's not gonna rain on me tonight because uh, you can see right here we have the sky and the palm trees. And this is not covering me, so if it starts raining, I'm gonna be wet again. But yeah.
I think I'm safe. I think it already already rained. Yeah. So yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna do like some shopping and like they have such awesome clothes here. It's like I'm not a fashion person so much. Well, yeah, maybe I'm becoming because I'm watching this girl who is like a fashion fashion girl on YouTube now. And she's very interesting and she's French and she lives in Berlin and she's, she's very interesting. And she's talking about fashion. But like here they have like so many colorful things, so many beautiful things. So yeah, I really want to go shopping and see what I can get, maybe. So we'll see. Anyway. I'm just gonna wait by myself. Um, see you later, guys. Bye. Guys, guess what? Iki actually bought the necklace for Hibarin Chan. So, this is my Hello a Buffalo. So, Hibarin Chan has her necklace. I think it's pretty cool. That was like all blue, all red, or multicolor. So, we went from multicolor with small flower. That was also big flower, but I think that suits her better because she's still kind of small. So now Hiki said she needs a Haloa, like Hawaii t-shirt. So I don't know if we're ever gonna find that, but I think that's already suit her. I think she's really cute with that. So then I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. Maybe get a hat for myself to like kind of hide, like shade my face because my nose is starting to like lose skin. So. Yeah, uh, I'm totally multicolor by now. Like my my arms are slowly turning brown, but I have like big patch of white. I don't know if you can see that. And then my hand now is red because I was holding the camera like this. So this side of the hand took a lot more than the rest of the body. So yeah, I'm all full of color at the moment. And same, a little bit red on this side too. So we'll see tomorrow, but I'm just getting worried about my nose because it's really red. Like it's not painful, it's just losing skin and it's really red. But I'm probably gonna be okay. Anyway guys, that's all for today. So see you next time for the next day. See you!